the opinion poll yes. where we're back. Be sharing and talking about a very interesting topic mm -hmm. with the beautiful Martina and Josie on the yellow table and we're just gonna be dishing out our opinions. Don't 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 get angry if we don't say something. Us. Don't uh, splash anger in us. We're just speaking out of our very own opinions. Splash. Splash, that's right? A new, that's a new uh, word for you. That's, know. You even know there's a new show on KC2 every Saturday. Hosted by our very own Martina. And they just Sony and Selector <laughs> Faber. Woo! Yeah. Yes. So what we are going to be uh, talking about an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait for you guys to find out what it is. So we, uh, for those of us who are uh, lucky enough to be following KC2 online, you were able to check out the title of uh, the opinion poll that we're going to be dishing out. But for those who haven't yet done it, this is what it run, goes like. Run. Yes. So uh, our opinion poll today is should girls make the first move in a relationship? So we gave you examples, i.e. paying for dates or uh, proposing once you want to get married to your loved one or even asking uh, a guy out. Let's say you're a lady. Can you be able to uh, gather the audacity or does do you even have to gather it to go and ask out a person you like your crush or someone you're feeling let me so, say something uh, please that is say yes yes can we have uh you know guys opinions before we dish out what we have like let's see how guys really think about it like sh if they think we should do it or if they think that they can do it themselves what do you think should we first see it through the video yes through the video, sure. we have the video. okay it's very okay let's how long is the video it? just yeah. like 30 seconds okay Let's see how guys think about it. If we should okay. do it or not. Pay on the first date. A guy or a girl? A guy. He has to pay. That's the right move. But if she's a feminist? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to take off. I'm just going <laughs> to leave the girl on the table and I'm walking away. I'm being honest. What if you're not interested in the girl? Would you still pay for her date? I'm going to pay, but I'm going to find a way to make you pay for something back. What does that mean? Like, let's say I'll say I'm running out of gas. Help me. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. <laughs> Who should pay on the first date, a guy or a girl? Honestly, it depends. If she's a 10, we'll go 50 50. If she's a 9 or below, she pays for everything. <laughs> Are you single? For now. Shocking. Thank you for your time. All of that. You know, I'm a king, you know what I'm saying? So I got you, my queen, with respect. So I'm going to pay all the time. <laughs> What if she's like a feminist and she refuses for you to pay? Don't matter, I'm still gonna pay. What if you're on the date and she's not interested in you? Like you could tell she's not interested in you. <sighs> That's hot. <laughs> He's not that much of a gentleman. I know these guys. Uh. I know these killers. Uh. Who should pay on the first date? A guy or a girl? A girl, all day. I like an independent woman, so I like a girl that's willing to like, you know, offer. I, like I respect that. that. Yeah, yeah. Are you single? I am. I am. I wonder why. Independent girls out. Everybody comment below. <laughs> Goodbye. Independent comment below. Uh -huh. So that's what guys think. And what do we think as girls? Should we make the first moves? Paying for the you know, first date or dates in general? And then proposing to guys? And even asking them out to be a boyfriend? I mean, imagine if I come and I'm like, hi. Are you interested in being my boyfriend? How weird is that? Can we do it? I, should we do it? First of all, let me talk about one of those guys who is like, well, if she's a 10, we split the bill 50 /50. I love the then guy. If, she, if he's a 9, she pays everything. Yeah, if she has a lot of money, then she pays for everything. Do you know what? Do, do you know even what he meant by that? If uh -huh. she's a 10, as in physically, oh, beauty, really? then they split the bill 50 50. If she's below 10, <laughs> then. She, really? So just so because let me, she's less attractive, let me chip, now she has to pay the bill. Let me chip in to say this. There is a thing that is called um, love at first sight, mm -hmm. right? So you might love the guy at first sight, but he might not love you at first sight. Mm. Like you might be so into him, but this guy is so not into you, mm -hmm. right? So at this point, it's going to look like you want the guy to love you, but he can't love you because he doesn't fe have feelings for you. Mm -hmm. But do you believe that feelings might grow yes. within yeah, time? Mm -hmm. So at that point, is it going to seem like you actually tried to hit on him or it was just the fact that you got you, you, okay his feelings weren't as active as yours were the first time you guys met so there's also that and then there is also a girl who just is crazy in love with a guy and then she goes to him and tells him you know what i think i really love you mm. 
But that happens. It, it happens. happens. Yes. So is it wrong? Is it is is it a taboo for a girl to say that? Does this but bec- because oh. because they should express their feelings if they feel it. Why should you die with a feeling inside you? Yet you can go and tell can me. Can you do it? Hmm? Can you do it? Um, no. <laughs> Let's. <So, laughs> there's this song that no, uh, Knowles sang, and uh, she was, you know, telling the guy that uh, in our culture we are forbidden mm-hmm. to make the first move as a girl. So you can do this, and even Marina has the same song. You know it. Mm-hmm. You can do this. Which you song can. Is that? Marina has this song. Uh, uh, telling a guy in go he can pass through the friend I mean through the friends that are you know that they are they have in common mm. and even the sister is friends with Marina so he can pass uh, through the friend to tell Marina so there's this thing of culture that we already have and honestly we grew up uh, knowing that a guy always makes the first move be it you know asking you out proposing uh, taking you guys out to dinner Paying and for everything. something exactly. whenever you're out yeah but uh, if culture wasn't an issue, we could do it. I mean, some girls, like uh, the way that uh, Tracy put it out there, you, we just find uh, not a weird way of expressing how we feel to a guy. We maybe te- you know, call them more often to make sure that you know, we, we give them the platform to see that if they come to ask the question to us, it will be so easy for them. Mm. You know, we do that always. But if the thing of a culture wasn't there, I think people would be doing it. Let's let's not generalize it. What what is your take? What would you do? What are your limitations to what you can do first Honestly, in a relationship? Yes. To me, I can maybe uh, show him interests through maybe you know uh, how we text or how we speak on the phone, and then some you know some some things that will give him a clue on what I really want to tell him. You but I cannot guys. come. He, I mean, I cannot come straight to him, and I'm like, you know what? Uh-huh. I have feelings for you. Let's do this. I can't. You know, some guys. If you're the one who te- texts, oh, the word. If you're the one who sends texts a lot, Mm -hmm. they might have the idea in their mind they're like, oh, this girl really loves me a lot. That that she keeps texting me. That she keeps calling me. Mm, Randomly, for no reason. So there's some guys that just (laughs) in their their nature, they think that you, by doing this care, it's like as if you're trying to pull them for yourself. And yet that's not even true. No, you're trying to give them, you know. I used to always. (laughs) Used to always what? (laughs) you. Right? Oh gosh, like it's just in nature for someone to care about you mm-hmm. and call you all the time or text you all the time. And right? you know, when you do it, it's a way, I think it's a way of showing the guy that you're into him, don't you think? We so? were once discussing with a, 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 a person that we work with, he's called Jisa, and then we we're asking him, How many times do you talk to your girlfriend mm. in, in a day? And then I was like, um, Two times. I'm like, Why? If a highlight has happened during the day, why can't you call and talk about I it? I do that. But, you know, okay, that this is... doesn't even talk. She talks. <laughs> oh, God. She can't even take a month without talking <laughs> to you. That's the kind okay, of you know, okay, okay, for me, that is a part of, you know, uh, being in a relationship. But me going out uh, on a date with a guy and then paying for the dates... It's okay to pay. It's okay to pay. Ah, I love it. Me, I feel well, like... thank God you guys agree with this. Ah, I'm so proud of you guys. The me is the issue. I really like it, but... I feel like I wish men wouldn't feel Would so understand small. exactly. Right. I don't understand. Like, it, of course, it shouldn't happen all the time because we grew up knowing. But men. once a while, exactly, it, it can happen. And I can take you for dinner. You know, right? But yeah. yes, so I feel like oh, we that picture. So I feel like if 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 you if you you feel it in your bones and like the same way a guy wants to take you out. Yeah. If you want to do the same, it should happen, and guys shouldn't feel. More any less, less of themselves yeah. because just because a female you see that that comes in the whole mentality thing mm. they start feeling like oh they're not providing the way they're supposed to be providing and it's not true mm. they are still the providers we are all providers it should be equality but yes, yes a man in fact the whole the whole essence is because men want to take care of their ladies mm. that is why the whole paying the bills comes in uh opening the door and everything yes you guys can still do it it's still your responsibility if you would like to yeah. but once in a while we would like to also show that we are financially stable enough to do something nice for you guys as well mm. it doesn't have to the burden sometimes it becomes a burden yeah. so now if my if a man does not have money 
there, there's no going out anymore. Yet the lady has something and she can do something as well. Yeah, and can we talk about uh, ladies who propose? Because I saw a random girl uh, from, was it uh, Nigeria or some places like, you know, Nigeria or the places like that. A girl, you know, knelt down in a, in a mall and the guy was there and people were even there. Here's, and she here's, just knelt down. Here's what I knelt down. Here's here's what she was I like, can you Well, we can't, we can't uh, <laughs> get <laughs> to, we can't judge her because maybe in no, the culture is that way. I'm just We're giving just you an example to let me tell you. come out, you know, with... I, mm. I can't... Me. <laughs> the whole of... Me, 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 me. All of you, me. Yes, in your own you opinion. Said. Yes. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Me. Mm. Over my dead body. But let me tell you. No, I'm still talking. Okay. I said me, myself, and Did I. Did the girl have a ring? She did. Was it an engagement? Yes. Yes. Like with this type of girl to a guy. Yes. Can you chill? Not you know, not like the, the same time. ring, but you know the rings of yes. guys. Yes. So hey. first wait, I'm still talking. <laughs> Me, whether I run to the moon and come back, mm -hmm. I did <laughs> not propose to my boyfriend. Mm. There's. Let me tell you my reasons. Okay. It's not even about that. A man should specifically be the one to when propose. A man <laughs> loves a woman. I don't know how it came. Care. We know. So, here's the thing. Me, I feel like, okay, we're both in a relationship. Mm. We both love each other. Mm -hmm. And we both know where it's <laughs> That's, going. That's, uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, okay. Chill. Uh -huh. So, me, we have talked about these things. You know, Wendy, when you're going to propose, you both know where you are in a relationship. Mm. You both know where the, the, the status is. Mm. And you have future plans for each other. Mm -hmm. So, if we're both in that mood. And... Me, that's just how I think. Mm. It comes in also that stereotype. Mm. So, I have no idea why. Do you know my fear? It's actually a fear. Mm -hmm. There isn't why me, I same can't Same fear that the guys have. Yes, it's the same fear. Mm -hmm. That he will say no to you. Not only that, he probably would say yes. But I'm like, why? How is the society going to feel about it? No, why do I you feel about, about society? society. I'm society. I'm and asking. I talk, me, it's not even about society. It's mm -hmm. about me and him. Why isn't he the one gathering? See, now that's a stereotype yeah. that you've put in your but mind. Why can't me. you do it? Sure. Uh -huh. Because you can't shut up. Uh -huh. So me, I'm saying, it's nothing about society. Uh -huh. But I feel like if it's a mutual feeling, then he would have done it. If I it's a like, mutual feeling, you should have done it as well. Because no. it's mutual. Right? Can yeah. I talk? Can yes, I talk? talk on. So me, I love him. I know I love him and everything. On. But me, I feel like if I do it... It would be weird. Yes, it would be weird. Mm -hmm. It's making him feel less of a man. Why? Because that's so how it is. She's, we she's know, just and expressing I'm talking. how she thinks. Yes. One, it would be weird. Mm -hmm. Two, I'm making him feel less of a man. And three, and I'm like, okay, so what if he? I love him more and... Mm. More than he does. Yes, more than he does. And I'm pushing him, mm -hmm. yet he had his own moment. Mm. So... That is why, those are the only reasons I would never do it. It's not even about society. Can you, Jimmy, I can can you uh, tell a guy that you love him, you want to be in a relationship with him? Yes. <laughs> not asking out to talk uh, <laughs> no. No. Ask, I wouldn't ask him out. What but is I can asking tell him out like and telling a guy you love him? Okay, I guys, take I, this thing. It's not different when you tell a guy you love him before he tells you. Please. That's literally it's asking him out. There's a difference. Literally. That's mm. literally asking him out. And if you're actually telling a guy that, uh, would you please be my boyfriend? Mm. Oh, it is still as heavy as telling him I love you before he tells you I love you. Let me tell you what I think. I just can't tell a guy I love you. Why can't you do Before it? he tells me he Why can't you do it yet? Sometimes you find that we even, you know, you find that even we have feelings. I mean, we catch feelings before even guys do so. And we just yeah, wait. So patiently. You wait. Yes, you wait. Yeah, let me time. Give, let me give time an waits. An example of for that. people that I knew, uh -huh. of a girl that I actually knew. We started together uh -huh. and she proposed the guy. She did to, to actually be boyfriends with her. Uh -huh. And she did. And it's not abnormal. Because let me tell you, if you have feelings... Like the thing that you said, you have yeah, all these are just fears. things you're saying. Here. Should wait. Mm -hmm. You have all those fears that you mm. spoke about, and it's the same fears that guys do have. Because when they're going to propose, they're not sure if you're saying exactly. yes or if you have the second guy or where you guys. Yeah, I just are, feel like know. me. My whole point is that I just don't want to make him feel less of a man at this point, honestly. Because men, the one thing, one of their biggest motive is their pride yeah. and their manhood. 
Maybe let's. So I wouldn't want to take away their manhood. So, let's say that you don't want to, you know, make him feel that way. But I think it's a stereotype, as you have said, yeah. or something that we grew up seeing, or the society made this do so and everything. So let's just see what people think and uh, those ones who texted us on uh, Instagram and we see Sonia Huru uh, David Seven. I uh, said, why not? And DJ Sonia, hi Sonia. Uh, she said, why not as well? Ivan Brand said, or oh, Eva. Ivan Brand said, of course, yes, they should. Stop Stop thinking that they are. And um, yeah, Biggie Fabrice said, of course, yes. Ihogoza uh, Tabita said, depends on the friendship you have. If you have seen friends for a long time, if you have been friends for a long time, you can do it. That's what she thinks. And Christian Abeni said, nowadays it's a necessary gender equal equality, right? That's what he spoke. And somebody else said, it doesn't matter who makes the first move. That's a Jab Jabes JK. I said, it, it doesn't matter who makes the first move. That's what I think as well. And it's just Gasana said yes as well. So they think that we should do it. There's so, this thing okay. that people used to say that when a guy makes the first move, when the guy tells you that he loves you first, or when you play so hard to get, mm. where did that go? Uh, playing hard to get, like, you know what they used I to always I tell us? Go. Playing hard was dumb. Uh uh, it is still. Do you know why it's good? Do you know why it's good to act? Oh no, Mary. Oh my god, that was good to act. Where I'm coming from? Can I, please, please, just one minute. You remember when we were just in high school, like S1 or S2? It was just like a culture. A guy comes, asks let you let out, and you say, like, let me think about it. Think about what? Yeah, I agree with you, there is nothing to think about, but playing hard to get. You were. Playing hard to get, playing hard to get, is well, giving him the him. reason yes. to actually know to that he has to fight for you. Miles. Yes. Why can't you go extra miles? Ah, get away. You will go. Ah. I can't. It's different. Co that's <laughs> Let me okay, tell speak. You, <laughs> that's you have to play hard to get because the guy needs to remember. Can guys play hard to get? Oh my God. Can you listen? Okay. No. You're the so, one who always says that you can't run after them. Right. So when you place out to get you, can you run after him? Eh? No. Let me tell you, Tina. Ah, Gina, Gina, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Yes no. Gold is very expensive. Sure. And it's very. And guys, How can you well. listen? Gold is very hard. Okay, speak. Gold is very hard to find and very Bring hard to mine. Right? Says, Wait. Are you listening? I'm listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk. Talk. <laughs> gold is actually very hard to find and very hard to mine, mm -hmm. right? So if gold was so easy to get, it wouldn't be that priceless. Oh, yeah. Ah, first listen. Talk right. It wouldn't be that priceless. If gold was so hard to get, if it was so hard to get, it wouldn't be so, so expensive mm -hmm. like the way gold is. Mm -hmm. So... Girls are just in their own nature. Even the Bible says, he who finds, please, he's supposed to find you, not you to find him. So, you're not going to debate with the Bible, sweetheart. Mm. Okay, Your father is a bishop. Me, I want to ask you. Let him go and explain to you that verse in the Bible, that he who finds, ah. finds a good thing. Urumva. Mm -hmm. So, there is no way that a guy finds a good thing. Yes, girl. Mm. So, give me a chance. Eh? <laughs> Listen, I'm still telling you. So, that is why a girl needs to give a hard time to a guy sometimes. To, for him to see how priceless you are, how expensive, how chic, how, how, oh my God, how beautiful you are, how he needs to, yeah. um, he needs to work for it. So you won't tell me, he, sh he should be the one giving you a hard time. No, the Bible tells him that he who finds, so he should find, me? not you to find. Okay, Can I talk before I forget? No, wait. no finally, yeah, my a, point I is a, out. I have a question for you. <laughs> for you who says, Go, go, can you play hard to get? Uh, can the guy play hard to get? Isn't the guy gold? That's okay. The guy is gold because <laughs> in this earth, we're all here to find one another, not one running after the other. But you who always says that you can't run after a guy, why Why is, does that statement not apply to this Tina. opinion you're right. right? Let me explain mm -hmm. this thing to you. I'm just going to give you guys an example. Mm -hmm. there's, yes. th there's, there's this thing that uh, Tracy has said, and uh, it reminded me of uh, the debate that we had, and even the debate that people normally 
actually have of uh, why our culture always like you know uh, a guy's side comes to your house to pay uh, you know the bride price mm. and they're like why shouldn't we pay for the same uh, groom price yet we all have the same things I mean your parents uh, you know paid school fees they gave money and everything. are you going there yeah. wait I'm just giving <laughs> I'm, I'm just bringing this up mm -hmm. because if we are I loved the same thing that you said it's mutual mm -hmm. and the relationship isn't for one person I just want us to, I mean, to look outside of the box of what we have already, you know, come to find on this earth or what we grew up finding of guys doing this thing that girls should not do okay. and everything and the feminist and everything that we normally it's always okay. see. It's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So if it is a mutual feeling, why Both are you putting right everything, price. why are you putting everything on a guy? Yeah. Some, Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are even guys who cannot stand out for themselves. Let me ask her. Huh? And they even like you know, like come out and tell you what they already feel like. They don't know how to express yes, themselves. Sometimes they need a motivator. Exactly. That's okay. And, but I, I Tina, let me tell you. Question. Okay, my question. The, uh, the question that you asked. Mm -hmm. My uh, my my saying was not what you had. Like there's uh, sometimes you like maybe uh, on the side on the same side with a guy, mm -hmm. and then some things don't just you know. Like they don't make sense, so it doesn't happen. Then that way you cannot run after him. But if what? Some, if some things are still new, like you're you're trying to pave a way to you know maybe just you know know and uh, differentiate or actually get the actual picture of what you guys are on, mm -hmm. then you can do so. But there's a time that you're in a relationship with a guy, you have the same uh, feelings, and then the guy so plays me, so hard let to me, get. Let me let me ask you a question. You don't then believe you leave that one. You don't believe you leave that one. You don't. You go yes. with that. You that's what I meant. So I, you don't believe in playing hard to get yourself. No, I believe in it. A girl needs to play hard to get. But I was like, can guys also do so? Because they are also human beings. Okay, the so same if way a guy feels, plays hard it's the same get. way that they feel. It's okay. So if a guy plays hard to get, you also keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why so not? When a guy plays why? Hard to get, what is Literally, the guy doesn't why, want why, you. What are you trying to prove when you play when hard to get? When a guy is playing hard to get, he just doesn't want to prove you. Stop asking me the same question I'm asking you. The same things that we want to prove are the same things that guys why want you, to you prove. You keep running after him. Oh yes. my God. Why do you run after That's a guy? You. Why? Why do guys run after us? It's the because same thing. they're told to find. Oh, guess what? I'm just, oh my okay, God. Put this in the context of people who don't believe in the Bible mm -hmm. and don't believe in God. What should they do? Because let, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you the value. Let me tell you the value of a girl. girl. About what? As the value of a girl. Let me tell the value you. Of oh my God. Just talk. She talk. Let me talk about okay. something. <laughs> it's not even me. Uh, if we're putting it in the contextuality of equality. Where yes, is my English? English? Can I Speak talk? About? Can, Can she talk? Can I talk? Let me tell you something. Because to Yemri equality, we would not... We would not end because we talk about equality in a home, uh -huh. the bills and everything. Let's, let's, let's stop. No. Let's Chill. stop the equality Chill. something. What is your issue? Okay, please stop. <laughs> right. So, go on. It's just going to make me forget my point. Have a few seconds well, to yes. go. Yes. When I'm oh, sorry God. about the, in the, if we pressure. are in the contextuality of equality, mm. I'm not even talking about playing hard to get and everything. Mm. But if two people, can you? I'm not even done talking about it. Literally, it's just my facial expression. Why do you play hard to get? You want to be a little bit of a chill. You guys are stress factors. No, she is a stress factor. All of you. Tell me I'm not. Yes, can I talk? Yes. So I'm talking about the issue of playing hard to get. If two people are. Let's say you have just met, mm -hmm. you're trying to connect and everything, and you are still in the period. You're of coming back. Like I'm Marie. Mary, there's not even what I'm just waiting speak, for. Just yeah. speak. She's just there talking. Speak. So, what so, few seconds to go? So, <laughs> yes. Can I, guys, this is pressure. So, you're in the moment. You're trying to get to know each other. You're trying to con each other. Mm. So, it's not even a, an issue of playing hard to get. If two people are not even in love, are trying to get to know each other, mm. It's about trying to value each other's I like quality and uh, sense of being. Me. So if you, you are trying to give the person less time, it's not called playing hard to get, but you are you trying are to you get are back. each other to earn Does each other. Does she know what playing hard so to get me? No, that's your friend or your mate. I know. Does she know what playing hard to get me? <laughs> anyway, that was the end of we your have opinion, Paul. not to agree. The whole well, yeah, talking. Let's can we have a no. conclusion line? No, we're not having a conclusion. Let's just go. Let's go. Please. Because this topic just needs a part two. <laughs> yes. Next week, we're, do, we're coming back with facts. And we're I coming swear. back with other people. Yes. Yes. Facts. Videos. yes.
they're not facts. Because we, what they're facts, please. They're percentages on a on a on a <laughs> scale of one to ten. How much should a guy invest in a relationship, or how much should a girl invest in a relationship? Okay, because even that needs to be research. there. Because you are starting to bring bright price things here. Bread price. Bread price is it was just go. There is no fact in it. Mm. Thank you guys for watching the opinion a traditional poll. tradition. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching I the opinion poll. What we have. Send in your but opinions. The first time we have ended without concluding. Oh. Yes, we are going to have a part two because yes, if we conclude yes. the.